What is up, Cinepals? Welcome back. I'm Achara Kirk, and a new trailer for Martin Scorsese's upcoming movie, Killers of the Flower Moon, has just dropped. This movie stars Leonardo DiCaprio, longtime collaborator of Mr. Martin Scorsese. So I am very excited to see more of this because the tr teaser was very interesting. And so I'm hoping that we'll get to learn a little bit more about the film from the trailer, but hopefully not too much. Let's get into it. But before we do, please don't forget to subscribe, click the bell icon, all notifications and upvote this video. All right, let's go. You know, you got, you got nice color skin. What color would you say that is? Beautiful. My color. The Osage. They have the worst land possible. But they outsmarted everybody. The land had oil on it. Ha! Ah. Black gold. Money flows freely here now. I do love that money, sir. <laughs> <laughs> is so good on this. This wealth should come to us. Their time is over. It's just gonna be another tragedy. Oh, shoot. When this money started coming, we should have known it came with something else. They're like buzzards circling our people. We're still warriors. Whoa. I ought to kill these white men who killed my family. But you here. I am right here. You've got to take back control of your home. I was uh, sent down from Washington, D.C. to see about these murders. See so what about him? See who's doing it. Oh, really? Oh shit! Expecting a miracle to make all this go away. You know they don't happen anymore. Wow. Whoa. That was intense. Holy crap. That looks so good. I'm very, very interested in seeing this in the theaters. I have always had a curiosity and fascination with Native American stories, Native American culture, because I just, I, I just find it so fascinating, even since I was a young child, like just, yeah, all of the, the different ways of life, the cultures and everything that is a part of being Native American. And ever since I moved to the States, I'm like, I don't really see these stories being told in the mainstream. Like every now and then you get something really cool and interesting, right? Like we got Prey. Um, I started watching Reservation Dogs, which has been fantastic. And then here we have this story, which feels like uh, another sort of classic story of white greed. It just makes me feel uncomfortable seeing these white guys come in and be like, oh, oh, they got oil. We deserve it. We need to get it. And so I feel like that's the conflict there. And we're going to see just kind of what goes down when people get greedy and want to take all the land. But the interesting aspect of this is the relationship between Leonardo DiCaprio's character and his wife, because him becoming involved with her and falling in love with her, marrying her, it gets him involved in the story in a different way because he's kind of stuck in the middle because, you know, he loves his wife and it feels like he's been brought into her family. So in a way, it's almost like he's more connected to the Native American side. It feels like he has more sympathy for them, even though like based off of his skin color and his background, he is an outsider. I thought that the first 
teaser we got for this was really interesting because it, it definitely piqued my curiosity and was a lot more intriguing than this. I guess for this trailer, they really had to show the audience like a, a little bit more of the story. So, you know, going into it, we can kind of understand what movie we've agreed to watch. It's just a fascinating story. I'm assuming it's trying to get the land from the natives, right? The cast is amazing. I know I said this in the teaser before, but it's an incredible cast and with an amazing director. And so I feel like everybody's gonna be bringing their A game and just acting their little butts off. I think there's so many layers to it, right? Because everybody's coming in and wearing a mask and pretending to be someone that they're not and like maybe pretending to care or maybe not like I don't know if they just have a blatant disregard for Native American lives and are very open about it or if they're you know pretending to be cool and everything because uh, the Osage Nation are the owners of this land and so they have to kind of be nice to them and placate them somehow but it will be interesting to see how all of those politics play out like who is actually genuine and if everyone is just an evil nasty greedy person trying to get a piece of something that they feel they're entitled to but like really they're not like with that last scene where the the detective comes in and he's like I want to find out who's committing the murder basically I don't know if it's just because this actor has that sort of face where you're like I don't know I feel like you might be on the bad guy side and I hate saying that sometimes because like, I know that's his face and like he he can't control that do you know what I mean that's just kind of how he looks like but it works so well for casting because you know either he's someone who is pretending to be nice or he's like really not and I just think that he has such a fascinating look about him it's like it kind of it makes you feel a certain way am I the only one who who thinks this the music on this trailer was so good I, I feel like it really kind of gets that uh like Native American vibe going while still feeling modern at the same time like i don't know if that's going to be indicative of the music that we will get in the movie but i like that because you know this this feels like a, a period film obviously and i'm imagining that it's got a lot of western type influences but it also feels really modern at the same time and so I like that juxtaposition between those contrasting things. And I'm just really excited to watch this in theaters because it, it looks like it's going to be a very interesting story. And I know a lot of people have read the book. I haven't. So I would be going into this blind. But I think that Martin Scorsese is really good at telling these types of stories. And so I'm just happy to see him back doing something like this. And of course, we've got Leonardo DiCaprio, who is so good, and Robert De Niro as well. And so I'm excited to see them kind of go toe to toe in this film as well. You guys let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Are you excited about this movie? I certainly am. And I will catch you next time. I'm Achara Kirk. Ciao.